So, so was it COVID that, you know, basically started impacting the economy and leading? They say yeah. it's not just COVID, it's, yeah. it's, there are other factors. But yeah. by and large, a lot of you hinge towards or lean towards uh, uh, COVID. But we know that yeah. even prior to COVID, you were facing some economic uh, challenges yeah, you in, know, in different parts of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday I was on Metro and I tried to analyse, uh, yeah, because right. I, I felt that his diagnosis of the economy was not right. I mean, the economy has been facing difficulties for a very long time. Mm. But what I'm saying is that there had been gains, improvements. Right. If you are, if you are factual to issues, mm. we went to IMF in 2014-15, we, we, and, and, and we got about $914 uh, million dollars and all that. Why did we go to IMF? Because the economy was not doing well. We've gone to the capital markets to, I mean, to get uh, 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 some Europe over the years has not been structurally robust and strong. We are overly dependent on, on excessive impulse. We export less in terms of volumes. We don't uh, even th add that. That has been a rhetoric that we've sung throughout the fourth parliament. NDC and can overlook that because no, no, we, we've not see, done much see, even no. within this tenure in yeah, terms of dealing yeah, with it. But, but I'm saying that there has been progress. For example, the 1D1F is progressive. It's progressive because as we speak, uh, can, can you can you can you do this? And and yeah. I like these yeah. Yeah. watching as might be reflecting. Yeah. If I asked you now to to mention ten actively working one D one F factories across the yeah. country, yeah. you know uh, that are actively working. Yeah. I think uh, I because that's not part of the topic, so I don't think I'll be able to. But, but, but I, feel, that I feel justifiably but I know, that I know. Yeah, I these know. should be at your fingertips yeah, yeah, when you're yeah. talking about wait, these, wait, these wait. initiatives. Because I, I put a question before the minister for uh, jobs of about 150 direct and indirect have been created. One is sitting in my constituency, Kasaprekun. It's sitting in my constituency. Mm. You go to a, a confused a juice, we know it's working. Kasaprekun is also working. Uh, 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 there, I mean, there are a couple of them. I mean, uh, if you, uh, the co farms, it, it, with been, the, it has been revived uh, recently. Uh, I'm sure you're right. No, no, no I'm, I'm aware of yeah. that. But I mean, they, they've really when suffered. They and even we're talking about the poultry industry and how even feed and all of that. It, it, it's a whole line. complicated situation. No, bottom line, to, bottom line is that it used industry. to be struggling, but it has been revived and revamped. Mm. It is able to give, let's say, 100, 100, 100 jobs. Okay, it is progress right. as compared to when uh, it was non-existent.